Hey, Donnie Smith here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to solder a couple of wires together. Yeah, so my son just got a 2004 Sierra pickup, GMC Sierra pickup, and he took the stereo out and wants to put an aftermarket stereo in. And to do that, you know, you need to buy the harness. You got the, the plug that goes into the aftermarket radio, and then you got the stock OEM plug in. Well, you need a plug in that goes from uh, your your New, your new aftermarket radio that goes into the uh, OEM plug. So this adapter will come with the OEM plug and some wires that you, you'll have to, uh, to splice together that goes to the plug into the radio. So anyway, to find this, you know, you just go and look for your make and model and it should give you the right plug for that. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to solder a wire. I'm not going to go through the whole harness. You know, I just might mention, be sure that you keep the right colors. I mean, they're color-coded, you know, white with white, black with black. If it's, you know, if it's blue, you know, make sure if it's blue with the black stripe that it goes with the one with the black stripe. Just match all the wires up and you'll be fine. But let's get started with the soldering. Now, I'm not going to claim that I'm someone that solders every day, you know, like some people do. But I'm going to show you how to solder a wire together. And uh, I was doing this at home and didn't bring all my tools. You know, a wire stripper works a lot better than doing it this way because you don't want to cut any of the wire. So if you got a, uh, a wire stripper, you know, I really would recommend that. But you can do it with a, with a razor knife the way I'm doing it. Just be careful not to cut any of the wires whenever you're taking the, uh, the insulation off the plastic. So I just kind of roll it around just to cut the plastic enough where I can slip that off. So once I get that, that's the plug that goes to the, the OEM plug that's in the pickup. Now this is the plug that goes to the new aftermarket stereo. And just like I mentioned, I'm going with white with white, you know, just matching up all the colors, you know, so that they're correct. So I've stripped the wire off both of these, or stripped the insulation off both of these wires. And uh, next what I'm going to do is put some uh, a heat, uh, shrinking, heat shrink, <laughs> blink there for a minute, a heat shrink over this. Now you want to do this before you solder it together or you won't be able to get it on there. So just slide it over the wire and uh, then you can kind of fluff up these wires a little bit where they'll kind of intertwine a little bit to make a good connection. So I'm going to kind of push these wires together and now I'm just going to twist them together and that makes a good connection. I mean, that will actually hold, you know, with just that twisted together. And now what I'm doing now is I'm putting a little bit of flux on this wire. Now, you can do this without flux, but this really helps the solder, you know, flow into the, the connection there, into all the wires. So I've got some uh, electrical solder here. It's a lead-free solder that I'm using. And I'm going to put the solder gun underneath the wire and heat the wire up, preheat it, and when it's warm, I'm going to put the solder on the top. That just kind of allows the, the solder to flow into the wires, and that way it makes a real good solder connection. So I'm heating it up, and when that flows in, it'll kind of flow around that, that entire wire, and that flux helps, helps that happen, you know, helps it kind of flow into the wires a little bit better. Um, so I'm doing that, heating it up, and like I said, you know, someone that solders every day, you know, does a lot of electrical work, you know, they can probably do a lot better job at this than me. But uh, whenever I was doing it, you know, I did get a lump on there, kind of like a little bit heavy in one end. If you do that, and you'll see me do it here in a minute, right there, kind of rub it in where it's not real lumpy, because remember, we've got this heat shrink we've got to pull over this connection. And there's a huge lump of solder sticking there. It's not going to slide over good. Now you want to allow that to cool, and I'm just going to slide this heat shrink on. And again, I'm a little bit unprepared. You know, I, I will admit that because this type of torch lighter does not work. It's too hot, but it's all I had. But really, just a regular cigarette lighter works the best because it doesn't get quite as hot. So I'm just having to give this a little bit of heat at a time, and then that just shrinks up and makes a good tight fit. Uh, a lot of people leave it like that, but just for the insulation, just to give it a little bit more insulation in case, uh, you know, some of that solder or something did poke through. I like to go ahead and get some electrical tape and just wrap it around there a little bit. And this is just to give it a little bit more insulation, you know, 
between the other wires so you know that, that if something ever poked through they're not going to hit so again this probably isn't necessary uh, just something that I like to do so I got that on and uh, make sure it's good and tight and as you can see this makes a good tight fit it's a strong wire and now you're ready to go to the next one well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share this with your friends, and we'll talk to you in the next video.